Happy Dating Tip Tuesday. I'm Shawnee, and today I want to talk about 10 ways to make dating less stressful. It's a pandemic, there's a Black Lives Matter movement, and let's face it, you're out here anyway. So grab your vitamin C and get your mask. Let's talk about it. Number 10, expect the best and prepare for the worst. Yes, it's okay to have a backup plan. If the date is whack, you can leave right after drinks or during, depending on how bad it is. But if it's great, at least you have a plan to go to a nice, safe, social distance place where you can get dessert and keep the party going. Prep yourself the day before. Yes, go for that run, exercise, go to the gym, and also make sure you pick out your clothes. Remember, you don't have to purchase anything new. Wear something that you've worn before that you're comfortable and confident in. They don't know your wardrobe. Everything's new to them. Hey, put your phones away. You know why it's rude. Don't, don't, don't. Number seven, think of a fun story to tell, right? It'll give the person a glimpse into who you are. You can talk about the time you traveled to Egypt and this kid was like riding this donkey and like he hit him and the donkey got pissed and took off and the kid was like, whoa, fell to the back of the cart. It's like a runaway car. It's not funny, it's dangerous. Number six, go in with the mindset that this is going to be fun no matter what. Either you'll have a really fantastic date, a dope story to tell your friends, or a book. <laughs> Number five, there will be a moment when it gets weird. Maybe someone wants to talk about politics. Maybe someone wants to talk about religion for too long. Make sure that you embrace this moment and just change the subject. Like Speaking of Jesus sandals, I had a pair. I don't wear them anymore, but I mean, they were cute. Number four, be prepared to pay. I know you're thinking like, uh-uh, I'm not paying for no date. The person who asked should offer to pay, and that's just the way it is. And also, it helps you know that I'm going to have a good time no matter what, especially if I'm paying. <laughs> Three, decide if you are going to have sex ahead of time. At least you have that mindset and you've made peace with your decision, whatever it is. Number two, make sure you pick the right place to go, right? Don't make it too loud where you can't hear each other, but then don't make it somewhere familiar where it's like cheers and everybody knows your name. People coming up to the table is like, well, hey, what's up? Welcome back. Oh, you're new. That's embarrassing. That has never happened to me. And the number one way to stay stressless during dating is to take a deep breath and relax. Your presence is a present. You are amazing. And this person is lucky to be in your space. So don't get cocky about it. But I mean, just enjoy it and wear your mask. Happy dating.